Transformers reviews, tech and the news, whatever else I use as a muse. Hit subscribe, I appreciate the views, influences, interest on YouTube. What's going on, people? This is Influence, and today I have Fans Toys FT57 Tube, which is their version of a masterpiece pipes. I really, really like this figure. It is great. It's a great figure. I really like it. I like it a lot better than Huffer. And one of the main reasons I like it, I mentioned the Huffer because they're, you know, they're similar. But that's the thing. This is not just a remold, repaint of Huffer, which I'm glad Fan Stories didn't go the lazy route. They actually, this is like a whole new bot almost. I'm sure they probably use some of the same plans for like his body and, and just the legs and they just like remolded that stuff. But it really is really different. Transforms different everything. And, you know, I like to tackle accessories. But first, let me give a shout out to my members or I should say my member dare 2727. there uh, has been a supporter forever and he's my first member on the channel. So I do have memberships if you want to join. You know, it's nothing spectacular, but it does help out. And yeah, thank you, Dare. And check out his channel as well. But the first accessory you get is the toy head. I believe this toy head. And you get a face. You also get blue eyes for the other head that it comes with. And I may, I may swap out. I don't remember pipes. Like, I don't have any memory. I do remember pipes, but I don't have any memory of him either way. So I'm just going to go with what I think is the best looking to me. So even Toy Head, I think, is, is a nice look. I like that kind of Grimlock look. Uh, but and you get the I think this is a transformation cog for Metroplex. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but you get that and it moves just like I showed. And that's about it. I mean, that's the only accessories you get a card. Of course, you get the card with the tech specs. You get a book. Typical fans toys book. You know, I use their their video instead of a book. And you get a box. You got the stuff going on here. Some of his shots and just the artwork. Typical fans toys art box. And you have the figure here. Like I was saying, the figure is great. I really like the figure. Uh, you see his head sculpt. Has the chest seats. Uh, I mean, they just did their thing with this. This is like kind of, I don't know what you call it. It's like champagne. It's not completely silver. It's like a, a tint, tinted silver or something. I mean, champagne, I guess that's that's the, that's the, what it looks like. So that might be the name of the color. But yeah, those chrome pieces. And I, I actually like that. I, I like that it has that sheen to it. It's just blue. It's plain blue and, and got the same color. At least it's all one color. Yeah, and that's that's pretty much it for the bot going over the bot. Got the rubber tires on his side. I really do. I really like this figure a whole lot. Uh, I just like the way Pipes looks. So speaking of Huffer, let's bring him in so you can see what I'm talking about. How different these guys are. He's actually smaller than Pipes. Head to head. Uh, let me see. Let me stand him up a little bit. He might. He's not that much smaller. Standing straight up. But yeah, just look at that. Like, like it's a, like I said, they might have used some of the plans for his arms and and the, you know, just the the outline of the bot. But everything is remolded. There's not a single piece on here that I can see that looks like this. Uh, transformation, everything. And let's bring in another mini bot, which I have here from the last review. power glide and you see how they scale so that i mean i think they look great together they scale well and it's cool 
So let's go through articulation. His head can go way up. Uh, it goes down pretty, pretty good. Not bad down. This is more in the center. Can't really spin around because of this, but you can lift this up and get his head to spin all the way around. So if you want it all the way like that, you got to kind of lift it up and then rest it. If you want it to look like that. Arms, this big old backpack is in the way, so it doesn't get all the way around, but you know, it can get up all the, well, I guess it go, always goes up. Let me see on the shoulder. Can't really get up that much because it's tired, so it's limited on that range. Can't get shoulder straight out. He can get more than 90 degrees on the elbow. And he has a bicep swivel. And he has these guns that kind of move. I mean, it's mainly for transformation. But you can, you know, they do move. Hands. Of course, all one, all on one pin and just no movement of the thumb. He doesn't have a gun either, so he's not holding on to anything anyway. Uh, this right here, I don't know. This is feeling like it could come out. I'm not sure if it can. I don't want to break it. It looks like it's screwed in, so probably not. But it does get in the way of the waist swivel. So you can get the waist swivel like that and like that. So that's not very much range, but you do get a rocker. And it's funny because they built in this little piece to help with the rocker so the rocker doesn't so this doesn't impede the rocker but they didn't do anything for this they should have either folded this down or kept it like cut it right there i don't think you know it's cartoon accuracy but i don't think anybody would well no somebody would have complained <laughs> what am i talking about this is a transformer somebody would have complained um nah but yeah i don't think it would have been bad looking to me you get out to the side, you do the full splits. It's friction, but not bad. You do got ratchets uh, front and back. He can't do the full hurdles to the back. Foot might hit one of them hurdles, but I think it's enough. And you see the four skirts. He doesn't have any skirts in the back. Has a thigh swivel right here. Has a tight knee and it is ratcheted. I thought it was just tight painted friction. But it is ratcheted and he gets more than 90 degrees. It's not all the way up, but it's enough. And yeah, this is really tight. And I'm sure it's because of the paint. And feet, he can get the rock all the way down. And his toe kind of points down like that and up. Now, when you get this, his feet are in, which is for transformation. His feet should go in a little bit. But if they're all the way in, they won't rock because they'll hit this. And that's the reason why you want to just pull this down like this and pull the feet out a little bit and then have it like that. And then you can get that rocker because it's not hitting this anymore. And that's the only thing you really got to do with transformation and turn his arms around. But you can tell that because I think it's like that and. You just turn his arms around and see. And I think I saw uh, Brink, Brian Brink. He's in, you know, he's in the realm. He's in groups. Uh, I think I seen him take this sticker off and it's just black underneath. And he took the sticker off and like, I don't know. He he said he went over it with, uh, I think it was, it was Brink. Uh Anyway, whoever it was, no, nah, I think it was Brink, but yeah, he went over it to take the adhesive off, but it's like, it looks like a lot. So if you're going to do that, just know you can do that, but it's going to be some work. So you're going to have to get that sticker off for one and then all the adhesive, you have to figure out how to get that off, but you can do it. And I think it's black underneath there. Uh, I can't remember what is correct. Like I said, I don't. I remember pipes, but I have no memory of how he was like officially. So I'm just going to keep him like this. It's fine to me. Let's get into transformation. First, you want to do these arms. Put this up like that. Pull this out. 
open this and move this hand around like that. Put this in here and just shut this. Uh, make sure it's correct. The hand's not correct. Make sure it's lined up. <laughs> then shut it. And you can do the same thing over here. Flip that. Open this. Shut that. Then you want to put these. There's a little tab in there that you want to kind of hard. Push that in as and over here, push that in. Try to get it lined up. So there we go. You gonna pull this out? This little peg right there. There we go. Flip this like that. Then pull this down like that now you want to accordion this in kind of like cabana wars so you gotta make sure like this is completely closed i didn't think i would have a problem because this is like one of the easiest transformations ever for fans toys, but I couldn't get that closed for some reason. But then you push that close, you lock that back. Then you put that up and push that down. And you got one leg done. So let's get a little bit smoother over here. Pull that out, pull that out here. Then when you're accordion, you gotta kind of like This has to be like all the way in. So there we go. See when you close the top part, sometimes this doesn't, it comes back out, but then this is the hardest part because it's not enough room. Well, it's enough, but it's tight. Just gotta close that. Close this back up. Push that down like this. There you go. Then there's two pegs that the legs peg together. Pretty tight, I might add. Then you can, there's a tab right there. You just wanna open that up. And that a uh, gain access in here, you just push this to get his head up like that. Pull up, or well, pull it out like this. It's gonna go like that. Then you can kind of uh, jimmy it out and up. And pull this up in here. And this will come all the way up like that. Then you want to get these out of here. Get this. Once you get the one out, it's the other one's super easy to come out. You just move this like this with that tab. Add tab that on and and it's tight. Tab that like that. Move this, tab this. There we go. It's easy to tab when you got it like this and you got that bar out the way. <laughs> that's what was going on you know you want the cab to be out like this a little bit you can put this head back in there like this 
and move this piece down and back into this position. Then you can tab these in. And here you are. Rolls fine. Truck overview is nice. It's got the black windows, black windows here. Black windows. Nothing up top. Nice little truck. I think this is a yard truck or I forget what they're called. They use them to tow like airplanes and stuff, I think. I don't know. Uh, don't give me a line. I think they tow big stuff, though. That's one of the reasons Huffer could tow the trailer. But I think they moved. That's what I think they did. I think they moved tractor trailers around in the yard, the trailer yard. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I think that's that's what this is called. I don't even know if they make these anymore. But in the 80s, they sure used them. I think there's a real one that's painted like Huffer, actually. I've seen a picture of one. But yeah, there you go. It's nice. It's a nice alt mode. I mean, it looks like what it's supposed to look like. And I wish I had. It, it probably looks more like Huffer in this mode than anything. But I don't have Huffer in truck mode. So let's go backwards. Take this out of there. Super easy. Like I said, this is probably the easiest fans toys transformation that they, they ever had. I can't remember a transformation easier. I don't even know why I'm going back to tell you the truth because I don't know anybody that might have trouble going back. I'm not sure, but I ain't gonna judge if you do. So pull this out. Spin that around, but spin this around so it goes in. First, let me get this head out. Then you can spin this around so it goes into there like that. Do the other one, pull that out. Spin this around like that. So then it spin around and go in. It's just working with tight spaces in there. That's it. That's the only difficult part. Move this down here. Make sure you push this, this in. Because then you're going to get it like this. Get this piece because this piece is going to peg in right there. So you want to get that in there like that. And then this can bend down and you can push this. You can't see that. If you didn't see what I did, I got this piece of around in there. And at the same time, you're bending this down, this piece that completes the truck top. And then you push that in there like that and everything goes. And then you can peg this on back here to keep the backpack on this up here there you go now basically the legs pull that apart try to get into one of these legs to get this thing out let me do this one turn it like that pull that out pull this out as well so then you can get this out of here and move this down there you go accordion that out then move it back up and just lock all this together like that and then you can Put this back make sure this is all the way out and there you go and this one should be easier with the leg out the way pull that out pull this pull that pull that 
accordion. Jeez. It's tight. Put that in there like that. In there and then this up. Record time. Move that. Put that back in there like that and then push this up here. And you can really move these fists while the, the actual gun is out. So then it's easier to move like that side. Then you can pull these out, which they're pretty difficult. So let me get them off camera. I didn't notice that these wheels come off like that in order to get the arm at a better angle. Unfortunately, I, I didn't show it before, but yeah, you can get the arm all the way up really. So it is not bad articulation and they accounted for it, which I think is cool. And make sure this is down all the way and there he is. We have pipes in this robot mode. All right, so thanks for joining me for this review. And again, I appreciate everybody that's watching. Get up with you in another one, be safe. In peace. You know, life ain't no, life ain't no, life ain't no. As long as you alive, you can give another try and take it real high if you want.